Apollo. I'll probably be able to get the death of the Apollo. Yep, there we go. What's up guys, DS McGann here, and today I'm going to be playing Apollo in the Hunter role. And alright, Apollo is probably one of my favorite hunters. He's a lot of fun to play. I haven't been playing him too much recently. Well, I mean, just recently I've been playing him a lot, but before then I haven't been playing him that much. Uh, I've just been playing him a little bit to try and get back in the swing so I could make a video on him because he's a really cool god. And honestly, his TSM skin's probably one of my favorite skins in the game. I mean, his secret agent skin is definitely a great skin, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the simplicity and the way TSM just, their uniform, I I think their uniform is just so cool. And <laughs> this skin has it, so I really love this skin. Plus, I don't know what it is, but the way his hair and his shots look, I mean, they just look really cool to me. So I don't know, He's that's one of my favorite skins. You guys may not agree with me, but I think it's a pretty awesome skin. But anyway, we're going to be in a mirror matchup against another Apollo. It's going to be Athena Apollo against Ymir Apollo. We should have the early game advantage, at least in clear. But of course, the Athena and Apollo double global presence is probably going to be a bit stronger. Although we do have a Thor, which also has some very strong global presence. Or at least half global presence. As we go later into this game, as well as, I guess, early on with some pretty nice ganks. The war could probably give us the best ganks out of. Between him and Kali, I guess he probably gives the best ganks. Since Thor probably is. And oh wow, they're actually going to invade and get a kill. <laughs> so that that's pretty much going to settle the early game for us. Thor getting ahead of the Kali, which I mean, I guess has to happen since Kali does have her incredible late game. Arguably the hardest to carry in the game. Maybe is she's competing with Kronos. Kronos also has a very strong late game. But of course, both of those gods have really poor early games, and as you saw right there, it was exploited by the Sun Wukong and the Thor there. And it looks like we're actually going to be against a Kepri here as Athena Solo. I probably should have expected that. I mean, Kepri can be played in the solo lane, but after his, his nurse, he has rarely be, been seen there. Uh, in this case, I think they may beat us out, at least for the early levels, but I mean, once we get a few levels going, like 3, 4, we should be able to win this, because Ymir does get some damage. Ooh, we're actually going to win this damage trade. But of course, they are going to have the Kepri shield, which is going to help them get a few... A bit more health than we have, but it looks like the Apollo lagged out there. I tried to hit him right there, and I was like, what? And he just kind of flew across the lane a little bit. That was kind of odd. But yeah, it looks like Ymir is going to just chug on some health pots, which is not too bad. Wait, he wants to attack? What? Does he have... Oh. Okay, I am going to be able to get the Apollo. I'll probably be able to get the Kepri as well. Yep, there we go. That's going to be a double kill. Nice job by the Amir. Great setup. Being able to get ahead in a mirror match is probably the best thing that you could ever let happen in a game. Because it's really, really hard to outplay someone who's playing the same exact god as you and they're ahead. So, and plus, Apollo, out of all the hunters, probably has the most uniform starting build. I mean, no one usually goes bluestone pen on Apollo. As you saw there, it really didn't help him out that much. You just get so much more sustain with Death's Toll. Bluestone doesn't give you any life steal. And Apollo mostly relies on his basic attacks and his passive to clear. His one's okay for clear, but of course, it does lack early on. And passing through multiple minions does lower the amount of damage it does. So. Oh, I tried to say hi and I didn't. Hi. My mistake. So yeah, we're gonna have the advantage there. It looks like he's just gonna go back to base and pick up some pots. We do have to look out for this Kepri though. This Kepri's still gonna be very hard to deal with. Kepri having some insane clear. I think he's gonna try and... Ooh, yeah, he tried to catch the Ymir there. Oh, that's gonna be a... Creeping Curse down from the Capri? I guess so. Uh, I guess he thought he could get a bit more there, but unfortunately he could not for him. Fortunate for us, 
That means it's going to be down for him. Ramir wants to attack. Oh, that is going to be a Kepri ultimate. So we're going to be able to get the Kepri ultimate out of that. Uh, Ymir's going to lose quite a bit of HP. But so is the Apollo, and they're not going to have the revive up if they want to fight us once again. It looks like we're just going to take our buff, though. Apollo, uh, Ymir's still level 4, however, while Kepri is level 5. But Ymir is a bit too low on HP anyway to really be worrying about trying to fight right now. I guess when he went back, did he not pick Benny? Didn't pick up any pots. He did not. Okay. If I was him, I would probably still go Blink. I know Blink got nerfed, but rushing a Blink 3, it's not too bad. He probably could have picked that up instead of just going for what he's doing. I guess Boots is really good too, though. Maybe after Boots, he may rush that instead of just going straight into Sov. I don't know. Ymir's just really has a lot of problems initiating if he just ha can only walk onto the target because if you can just walk up to the target they probably have an escape right I mean Apollo of course has his three Capri has his one everyone except for their new wall has a really easy escape from Ymir of course new does have her ultimate if she wants to use that but I mean that's just in, in very very dire situations it looks like Capri is actually gonna try and pull up the Kulk in there oh we're gonna have to see what we can do here it looks like a really, really nice wall from the Thor. Uh, that's going to be a Kali ultimate, unfortunately. Uh, I couldn't get her down before. Oh, they're all so low, but I can't fight them. No! Oh, shoot. Whoa, Athena. Okay, I am going to be able to get the Athena, though. Ah, oh, shoot. No, I couldn't get the Capri. I should have just tried to ult out there, but yeah, I think I probably would have been able to get both kills if Athena didn't lag out there. If Athena wouldn't have lagged out there, I would have been able to get both kills. That was really odd. Uh, I was kind of confused because she just kind of dashed across my screen. I was like, what? How? Why? I would have been able to get two kills there. But unfortunately, I'm just going to fall in the end. Capri's passive, keeping him alive. The Capri passive is just so strong at early levels. I mean, later on in the game, it's not going to be a big deal. But early on like this, it is pretty strong when it keeps ticking, keeping him alive. But going back to that Athena lag, that really went into their favor. Usually lag works against you, but I mean, right there, I don't know. But we are going to be 3-1-0 right now. Still ahead of the Apollo. Uh, he's going to have more stacks than us but of course we're we have two tiers in our boots right now which is going to give us a bit more damage as well as a bit more mobility he is going to be level eight however but we're only going to be level seven you're gonna get a lot of damage on the apollo right there though yeah he knew i knew he's probably gonna go for the ymir i mean ymir we're gonna have to back off right here though because the athena Okay, they're just going to back up as well. At least the Apollo is. He was afraid of the Ymir freeze. Alright, it looks like the Thor unfortunately died right there. I don't know what happened. Did he try and gank the new Wa? Is that what it was? Yeah, it looks like the Athena's probably just rotating to the middle lane here. I mean, the targets are dead, so they may just be going for the goal here. But I don't think they can really do it without the Apollo. And the Kepri. It looks like Son Kong is actually going to see what he can do in the middle lane. Let's see what he's going for. He's probably going for... Yeah, he went for Yon's Wrath first because he is against, of course, a mage. And that mage happens to be a guardian who's just building. Uh, like, actually, that's a really odd build she went, she went for. Is that Dynasty Plate Helm? Not an item that you see very often because... Of course, those Plate Helms are pretty expensive. And the big melee crit base gods who used to be really strong whenever that item came out are not nearly as strong as they once were by that i mean completely mercury that's the only god i really met there and this should be a kill on the apollo he, he's oh no uh, no okay we should be able to get him now looks like <laughs> ymir is just gonna use his ultimate to get the kill 
I mean, he didn't have to, but pretty much finish up the kill. Kulkin's going to rotate over. We probably still would have gotten the kill without him, but that does help us out a bit. I think we're safe to take this just because the Thor is rotating around. Wow, they may actually be able to get this new wall. He didn't use a stun yet. She does have her ultimate up, I do believe. We do have to watch out for that. And it looks like Athena is actually going to rotate over. This could be ugly. She did use her clay minions. Ooh, really, really nice ultimate from the Kokolkin. Not very often you see that thing go so well. And we could actually take this. Actually, we're going to have to back off here. We can't take it with the Apollo there. Actually, is he going to continue going on it? Oh, they are, actually. Oh. oh, shoot. I just got pulled by the Kepri there. Now they should be able to get it. Okay, yeah, they're going to be able to get it. The Kukulkan got taken out by the Apollo, but they were able to get the Gold Fury there. Kind of an odd peel off of it that they did there. They left Kepri to stay on it. Yeah. And then they dove the Kukulkin. I don't know. Kind of a weird choice for them. But we are going to get the gold fewer. So I guess it's probably worth for us. And I don't think they can take this tower. Because Ymir is full HP. And he does have his ultimate. And we're also going to get a tower out of that. So yeah. Really going into our favor there. Nice job by the team. Okay. Looks like Thor's going to stay around in the wings. I, don't, I think he could probably just go back to base here. I'm pretty sure he's safe. Yeah. He's going back to base right now. It looks like they're... Up the Apollo and the Kepri are going to rotate back to the dual lane. And they're going to see that the buff's taken out. I believe that's probably what they went to check for first. But of course, I did steal that away. Okay, we can actually help Kulk and take out this red buff. They actually, is he going for Mana Tote? Okay, or Book of Tote, I mean. Yeah, he is. So that's... I probably could have... Gave him some of those stacks, but that's gonna be fine. We, we're still building stacks as well, so. I just completely missed a free basic attack there. I mean, we probably still only would have gotten one basic attack on him, but I mean, we had no reason to miss that right there. I mean, come on. All right, let's see what he's going for. Okay, we do have boots advantage on him as well as second tier soul leader. Oh, jeez. I'm missing all my basic attacks. See, Thor's actually going to be going in the air. Oh, shoot. Oops. I didn't think I was going to instantly kill him right there. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the dash, but he actually did not. But yeah, I accidentally killed Apollo a bit too quickly there. Not often that you get to say that, but yeah, Thor was in the air trying to get the ultimate off. And we just pretty much insta-gibbed Apollo right there. With our 1-2 combo. Oh, jeez. It's gonna... It's gonna... Focus us. We're gonna be able to do some damage to the Kepri here. The pull right there didn't really seem to go in his favor because I just managed to get more damage on him and not lose too much because I have a lot of lifesteal right now with Death's Toll, Devourer's Gauntlet, as well as second tier of Soul Eater. He's backing off because the Apollo is going to be coming in soon. We're just going to do as much damage as we can to this tower. See, the Apollo probably has boots. It looks like he's going into Ichival this game as well. Soul Eater is still a better item for boxing. So we should definitely still have the advantage. It gives us more lifesteal as well as it gives us attack speed and power. So definitely a huge item pickup. It's also very good in compositions where your Soul Eater and your jungle jungler are physical we do have a thor and a Sun Kong who are both very good with extra physical power so soul leader it is we'll also get beads one while we're at it and we'll pick up uh do we wanna yeah i'll get i'll guess i'll get a sentry gold fury is gonna be coming up soon doesn't look like anyone actually ymir does have a sentry i thought he didn't i'm thinking of a previous game where athena didn't buy any sentries which i mean it was okay because we were so far ahead but i mean come on you still gotta you still gotta ward up that gold fury all right, Ymir's just going to be taking out this purple buff. Allowing us to get most of the stacks there. It looks like Apollo's just going to be pushing this down. Actually, he's going to be able to take this tower. Yeah, he, that, he just went for it. Okay, well. That was too bad. We weren't paying attention right there. I mean... Uh oh 
Athena, Athena's just lagging like crazy. Like, honestly, she's just... She's everywhere. Oh, jeez, I just got caught out there. I do have my knockup right there. Kali's ultimate is down. She just used it. I'll lie steal a little bit. Oh, I didn't. unfortunately didn't even get the lifesteal right there. There we go. Now we can lie steal a bit. It's going to be Kepri with the creeping curse right there. I think it was just a creeping curse. Oh, Jesus, Athena's... Oh, my God. She is so laggy. Oh, my God. So laggy. Thought we weren't going to get her there, but all right. We're going to be able to take out this tower and then probably go for the gold fury here. Yeah, we'll probably actually be able to get two here. It looks like the Emir's just going to tank it up. I do have my Soul Eater online, and we do have Thor and Sun Wukong, as well as myself here pushing it. New Wall's going to see what she can do, but I mean, she's not going to be able to do much. Uh, let's see, does Sun Wukong have a sentry? He does not. I'm just going to put a sentry down. They, yeah, I wasn't expecting them to have much vision around here. It doesn't seem like they're the team to really be focusing on vision. Alright, so we're going to be able to just take this out. There we go. Could also take out mid harpies. Actually, New Wall got those already. That's okay. We can take out this red buff and leave it for the Kokulkan, who's going to be coming up very soon. So he's probably waiting for an item, it looks like. Dude, what does he. Actually, we'll, we'll split some of this as well. Actually, we probably should just let Ymir get some of that. Or more of that. That's fine, though. He's pretty far ahead. He's the same level as their hunter, their support, and their. Or not their support, their support's really far behind. Their hunter, their jungler, and their mid laner. See, so hopefully Kakulkin can pick that up. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. Okay, looks like he went blink and he's going into maybe a double stacking or an ethereal staff. Actually, gem isolation is pretty good on him as well. Once you'd be surprised if you pick that up either. He just needs some extra uh, health because he is dying quite a bit. Kakulkin's pretty easy to catch out. Especially with their team, they do have the Kali, who's pretty good at catching him out, as well as a Athena, and a new Wa has a pretty nice stun against him. So, the more safety, the better for him. He's probably going to turn that into a combat blink. I'd be very surprised if I saw him turn that into a offensive blink, but, I mean, I've seen crazier things, so. Okay, we're just going to clear this out. Looks like they're going to be able to take out the Apollo nice jump from the nice Thor. Job. And this game looks like it's going very, very well for us. The Kali is trying her best. She's 5, 4, and 6 right now. But, of course, she's going to be soloed out by the Sun Wukong over there. And all she has right now is a Fatalis. So, she can't really even fight anyone right now around the map. I don't think there's... Any, yeah, I don't think there's anyone she could actually fight right now. Maybe the Ymir. With only a Fatalis, she does not have the damage to really deal with anyone. Looks like Kulkan's also going to get a kill on the new Wa. Which is huge because a Kukulkan is the one who's has the is who's been having the most trouble on our team. And oh my gosh, it's Athena. She's so laggy. <laughs> She's like everywhere. Okay, we're gonna be able to get the Athena. Nice shot on the Thor. Great ultimate from him. I actually used my two right there just so I could stop her from stunning, as you saw right there. But it's going to slow her down a little bit. I mean, not going to be a huge deal because, I mean, her jumping in was pretty much death for her anyway. We should be able to get this Phoenix. I don't think Kepri can really hold this. I think the Phoenix is a lot more important than the Fire Giant. Because it's still pretty early for a Fire Giant, but I mean... We could probably do it now. It's kind of dangerous, but it can be done. Let's see... This completely depends on how tanky Sun Wukong is. I guess he has Mystical Mail. He's not doing too badly. Thor also has his Mail Renewal, so he's got full cooldown reduction right now. We need some vision on that, though. We need a Sentry or something. Because, I mean, they probably don't have any vision on it, but they could have some vision on it, so we need to be careful about that. I'm actually going to put a ward. Eh, no, I'm going to save it, actually. Or maybe if they try and come around. Looks like Ymir is going to put a ward right there. Maybe go for this blue buff as well, which no, would not be a bad idea since it doesn't look like the Sun Wukong is going to be in range for that. Yeah, there he goes. Picks that up. I'm going to pick up my Executioner now. Let's see. Do I want... Yeah, I'll just go for the 
rage right here. I was actually kind of thinking that I could go for Aussie, which wouldn't be too bad. But I playing crit just does more damage. Aussie would just give me insane life steal if I had a soul eater, a devourer's golem, and an Aussie. I guess it'd be kind of overkill though. But it'd be a lot of fun to play with. All right, I'm gonna get my greater purification beats now. Having as much CC as they do on their team, it's still important for me to have these. Of course, they have the Kali Stun, the Apollo Mez, the Athena Taunt, Kepri, Pulse, so I mean, Nuwas Stun as well. They, they have a lot of CC, a lot of control in these fights, so we need to be careful with that. Of course, with them having a lot of control, we also have a lot of control of our own. Probably even... No, I would, we don't have more, but we have more effective CC, I would say. The Thor Wall is really strong as well as the Sun Wukong. All his knock-up and his stun. His stun lasts forever. <laughs> and his, and Kukulkan does have his ultimate in Mirror Freeze. Kukulkan ultimates, I mean, they're really hard to hit, but with Thor, they're really strong and not as difficult to hit because he has some very good control. Actually, yeah, I guess we actually do have more CC than them. Now that I think about it. And it looks like that's going to be Surrender from them. We did end up being top kills and top damage on our team. Which is not a surprise. We did do very well early on in the game with the Ymir. The Ymir had a... Let's say in the early phases, I said we would probably lose, which we did against the Kepri Apollo. They have a bit stronger clear earlier on, as well as a bit stronger abilities. But once we caught out the uh, Apollo there with uh, the Ymir freeze and allowed me to get a kill on the Apollo. Unfortunately, the Ymir still fell, but I managed to get the kill on the Apollo. And also on the Kepri, we managed to get away there. All right. Oh wait, so the Athena was speed hacking. Okay, <laughs> that makes more sense because the Athena was like, I was like, she's just lagging all over the place. Maybe, is she hacking? I mean, I, I couldn't tell, honestly. I, I really couldn't tell if she was lagging. I mean, it looked like she could have been, but I mean, it... It looked like lag too. I mean, it was very beneficial to her in some parts. But anyway, we'll just ignore that. This has been the SVKN, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.